what is up? Freebooters, free basers, raiders and base rapers. Revely, revely, all hands heave out and trice up. Uniform of the day is pirate garb. Unlike, subscribe, and leave a diatribe. I am Genius Christ, and this is Atlas Hype. What I keep thinking about is a class system. If Ark had a class system, it would have been better. My buddy Madman says, I'm hard on the Ark devs. And I love Ark. Anything I say negative about Ark is just how Ark fell short from the perfect video game. Ark is better than most. From an immersion standpoint, way better than most but it needs classes and uh that's what makes the game interesting so here's what i'm hyped on from the steam page mmo scale character progression systems include at launch over 15 disciplines with over 300 skills in a vast unlockable tree and then it goes on to say way too much in this paragraph. There's there's entirely too much information in that paragraph. I'm very interested in this class system that's been teased out. Arc did not have an effective class system. I can change my stats on a whim with the right drugs, do whatever it is I need to do, and change them back. In EVE Online, your ship was your class. The more weeks and months you dump into the modules that make your ship do its thing, the better you are in your class. You wind up skilling every aspect of that ship until at the end game, your ship's 15 or 20% better than it, than it was in every little way. And you don't really want to fly any ship that you're not skilled into because it's so nice. So I want to believe that Atlas will give weight to their class system. I want to believe that there will be different classes within their fighting system even. I'd like to see big burly tanks that can take a hit and fast swordmen for diversity of boarding engagement. Class dedication makes for a much more immersive environment, provides alternative play styles to those who prefer those kinds of things. Market traders in EVE Online come to mind. Some of those players never ever leave the hangar. They log in, make their trades, and log out. For some guys and gals, that's the whole game. In ARC, people who dedicated themselves to one thing were the most useful people around because they had answers. ARC was so full of unanswered questions that when you find a person who spends 40 hours a week running caves, for example, that person is a gold mine of reliable information. From the Reddit forums, Grandmaster Sexay69 says he thinks the server structure is going to be spatial OS. That's an interesting idea. It's definitely right here and right now. The truth is, it's just weird to me to be cryptic about something like that. Especially when it was ostensibly going to launch in six days when they released the text on that Steam page. And word around the campfire is that the two guys who are part of Grape Shot, who were previously a part of Wildcard, are the guy who designed the center map, and the guy who was working on Primitive Plus. The guy from the center was the guy who gave Wildcard the middle finger and walked away for a year or something, right? That's why the center map didn't get updated. Maybe I'm remembering that wrong. Three days till launch, get hyped. Arc Survival Evolved Hardcore Extinction. This whole episode was the walk of shame. You die and you start over. But if you missed it, here's how the live stream went. 